seconds before Wyatt. 24, check 24. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. J.J. Watt, the one that gets him down. On second down, Elliott. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. The Texans here on third down, putting an extra defender in the secondary. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field, defense. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Caught by Cobb. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it, it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. On fourth, they do snap it to Prescott. Complete to Jason Witten. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. This is Elliott. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. He was brought down by Jonathan Joseph. Ten yards on the pick up. It's second and inches at the 45-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. They'll try the right side with Elliott, and he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they do. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 at a first. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Tackle made by Whitney Merciless. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. 
on second down now. It's Elliott. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. This has been a good drive so far, and it's been a running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown run as his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. Solid job up front, really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run, end result, six points. Touchdown. Forbath to send it away now following the touchdown. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. Well, you know, writing down. And this is caught at the 20. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Watson with a give to Miller. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Miller. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. The defensive line made pretty easy work of the offensive line that time. And people get tired of the cliche that the battle is won in the trenches. But it's a cliche because it's true. And how about the battle right there? One on the edge, and the ball carrier did not benefit. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Off the draw, here's Johnson. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. This is third and goal now. 80,000 on their feet here in Arlington. Out of the gun, Watson. And he will score. It's a touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out as they are now on the board here in the first half. 
They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, just string them together. Could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. And it is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Forbath able to convert the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to seven. Forbath to send it away now following the touchdown. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off Byron Jones. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. You're trailing. You're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. A first down carry by Elliott. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Now Elliott. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Elliott running right, and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. And Forbath will put this one through. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups 
We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially with foul yardage. After the penalty, it's Allian. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Prescott now from the 50. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Bernardrick McKinney muscled his way in for the sack. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Here comes Carter. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. The Texans off here for their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay. It's caught inside the 25. Watson to Hopkins for a huge hookup, 53 yards. I don't think we'll ever get enough of watching one-handed catches, and when they pay off, they are spectacular. But how about the times they don't pay off, and coaches go, two hands, two hands still works. <laughs> I know, but they, they go for them so often now that I'm almost... And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. A 24-yard touchdown as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession, and that was punt the football, because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Here's Elliott. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. On third down, it's Prescott. That's complete to Cobb. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Hey, kill, 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 kill. 
They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott. He's got his time, and it's caught. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. I remember in pregame when we were talking to him on the field, and he took his gloves off and showed us his a few misshapen ones in there. And now we know why, trying to catch those types of bullets. That was a dart. Yeah, even for a talented receiver, those are tough to hang on to. Hey, 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 hey. Check 99. Check 99. Safe, safe, safe. Out, out, out. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. Menardrick McKinney there to make the stop. Right there. 54. Right there. Right there. 54. Let's go, Pete. It's going to be a long and that you is gonna do it for this third quarter of action we'll return with more after this this is the nfl and it's on ea sports Throwing on second and eight, Prescott. This is Cobb with a catch right side. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. The Cowboys on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Two. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 41 yards. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And oh, it's no good on the PAT. So they can't add on here. And our score is going to stay right where it is. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. That's fielded in the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. From the gun, here's Watson. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33. Demarcus Lawrence picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Throwing on second and long. Watson, oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Third and long, it's Watson. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Cowboys take over first and ten at their own two-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Check, 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 check. 
Hey, alert three, alert three. Check, 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 check. They go to Elliott again. And for one, it's not going to go anywhere. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Now, this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Watch the slap, watch the slap. Check, check, A 20th carry here for Elliott. Losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. On the return, Carter. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the Texans with great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack. Back at the 47-yard line. The sack by Michael Bennett, the native of tiny Independence, Louisiana. After the sack on first down, Watson, now a desperate catch is made. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. is caught now for a late touchdown so hold everything here this one's not over yet okay game on don't go anywhere yet you got a one score game now probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up yeah they have to it's not a high percentage play but it's better than not having a chance at all and that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side get that high hop and hope that one of the guys can come up with it and on the other side you get that hands team ready no doubt about it are able to recover. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coach... Ezekiel Elliott got to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 45 yards. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And that rushing touchdown is fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. They'll let Elliott try and run it in, and he is into the end zone again. So get him some oxygen. He scores on the long run and then punches in the two-point conversion for good measure. Format to send it away now following the touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback.
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly, yep. to kick and get the ball back, and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. Watson now to throw. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And they will finally get. 